What's going on LEGO fans? Welcome back. Alex here. Today we're taking a look at the newly rebuilt hospital. I believe this is about the sixth edition or rebuilt of this particular structure. Uh, by far the largest and most detailed uh, to date. And if you peek through a lot of the windows here, you'll notice that it does again have a very detailed interior that we'll get to in just a moment. Uh, but before we do, I want to take a look at, at a few of the uh, exterior features. Start off by looking at the front of the building here. I think the biggest criticism this thing is going to see is that it is very blocky. It's uh, hard to get away from that look with, with uh, building with these Lego bricks in general. I try to do my best with um, the base, with adding a little bit of variety with those columns and more of a kind of a grand entrance using those uh, curved window elements. Towards the top, I still thought it important to keep a helicopter landing pad uh, for those emergencies that always come up. So you have somebody who can be dropped off right on the roof of the hospital. And I ditched the red colors, those red accent colors from the old hospital and used blue this time around. I think it looks better overall. Uh, and also the addition of balconies. I thought this was kind of fun to put some balconies on here so people can actually uh, walk outside uh, even though they're cooped up in their rooms on the, those higher levels and get some fresh air. This side of the hospital is really fun because this is where the elevator is. Right here in this back corner is where it travels up and down. The elevator is actually right here on the eighth level. We have a minifigure in there, and yes, you can see him because the pieces I'm using are translucent. So let's go ahead and have him uh, give us a trial run here. Don't want it to shake too much or definitely don't get stuck. That would not be good. There was a little bit of trial and error with making the elevator work, but it uh, wasn't too bad. There we go on the way on the bottom. Let's crank him back up here. And this... Uh, there was just enough string for eight levels. If it were nine levels, I would need a longer string to make this work. So that uh, worked out pretty good for me. And the windows here in the middle, um, these different style windows, I, I bought those for a different project, uh, but I tested them out when I was building this thing. And as it so often happens, I ended up stealing them for a different project. When it comes to the back of the hospital, it's there's nothing really to write home about. This I didn't really put a lot of effort in the back of how it looks because it was going to be facing a wall, uh, but uh, you know it's it's okay. Uh, you notice the crank here for the elevator is yellow as a that's a yellow element. I didn't have a white one uh, for that crank, so that's what I went with. But I did my best to you know to cover it up with uh, what I had available to me. And finally, the other side, that really won't get a lot of people seeing it, uh, but here it is for what it's worth. Not The windows are not continuous, uh, and that will make sense when I show you uh, the interior because there are certain rooms that uh, do not want to be exposed uh, to any kind of uh, light from the exterior. We'll go ahead and get started at looking at the interior of this. We'll start from top and go to the bottom. Uh, we'll start with these two removable areas right here for the elevator shaft in this uh, waiting area. Uh, access to the elevator shaft is important just in case something breaks, you can get in there pretty quick. Uh, and this area here is not, it's kind of hard to justify or say that this is an actual floor. So I don't know if I can get away with saying it's eight stories, but for what it's worth, uh, I'm just gonna call it eight floors. Um, but in here is just kind of a waiting area for the emergency staff uh, to wait for a helicopter or landing. Uh, just in case there's some adverse weather, they don't have to be stuck out in the rain, they can wait in there and then run out and get uh, their patient. To begin our interior tour, let's go ahead and take off the roof here. Should come off pretty easy, which it does, which is nice. Before I get going on this, I want to make mention that uh, if you build a large building, it's probably best to actually leave it open back. You save a lot of pieces that way. It also saves you the hassle of using a lot of these tile elements uh, because if you close the back, you got to be able to open it up somehow. Uh, so I went with a modular style on this thing because I have the pieces, but um, it is also a pretty good option to uh, uh, just leave it open back. Uh, but anyway, let's go ahead and take a look at the inside. I can actually take each floor off individually and review it that way. It's a little easier, I think, on me if I uh, just put it on the desk and show it that way. The seventh floor is all administrative. You got your white collar workers working in their little cubicles here. I also have a, a corner office there, which is actually supposed to be the hospital uh, director. And one thing I love about this floor is that it has two balconies that your employees can walk out on and grab a breath of fresh air. Uh, not to mention a really sweet view of the city. I don't think uh, uh, any other building has such a nice walk out that high. We 
Level six is for patients who are gonna be in the hospital kind of long term. There's only actually two rooms. There's this room right here, and then one just adjacent to it. And then we have uh, the um, balcony right here in the middle so that these people can get some fresh air when they need it. Uh, further in on the floor is the, uh, the foyer here, and you have a really nice uh, nurse's station. Very, very, I, I worked a little bit more on the detail on that one. And I try to use flowers and plants throughout the best I could with this. Now this actually does have a bathroom. This is one of two bathrooms in the entire hospital. So I do like the fact that I was able to fit that in there nice and snug. And adjacent to that in this corner is the um, break room. This is the nurse's break room, a little bit bigger than the old one. And, uh, but some similarities there obviously with that. And uh, I know nurses definitely appreciate a very nice break room, not to mention one that has a pretty good view. And other than that, you just have this very long hallway. All floors have a very nice uh, hallway. I, I wanted to make sure each of the hallways was at least six studs wide. Uh, I thought that was a good measure uh, to go with to make sure there's some good shoulder room uh, to get by each other if you're passing each other in the hall. The fifth floor is basically an entire doctor's office. People come through the elevator right here into the waiting room. Uh, they get checked in uh, behind this uh, service desk here. Behind that service desk is employees only. You have the nurse and the doctor coordinating appointments. On the other side is a small conference room or private consultation room. Across the hall are two uh, patient rooms uh, that are almost identical. In this one, we have an older gentleman uh, being asked uh, certain questions by this uh, lady. Each of these rooms has a row of very uh, interesting looking equipment that would make me start to sweat by the looks of them. So there's those two rooms and then adjacent to those is the uh, imaging room or x-ray room. This has to be completely dark, so no, uh, no windows in that room to speak of. So that is uh, that's floor number five, I believe, which is basically uh, a doctor's office. The fourth floor is a floor you don't really want to find yourself on uh, because this is where we have the operating room. So first of all, this does uh, have a fairly large waiting room, a really nice foyer here for people to walk in. And uh, this has um, the, the main doctor, I don't, there's a name for a, a doctor in, in, of this position, I don't really know, but this guy's got it made. Uh, very nice executive looking office here, right in the middle front of the hospital. And he's got a very large, nice desk here. We've got his own coffee machine and a fridge in the back there. Uh, adjacent from here across the hall actually is the uh, lab. This is uh, the same lab I had in my old hospital with the same uh, ladies working in it. I think these are the same ladies from the Women in Science Lego Ideas set um, from a little while ago that I got. So they are continuing to make a name for themselves in this hospital. And of course, this large room here is the OR, the operating room. Uh, this is a place I guess you don't want to find yourself uh, unless of course you're the person uh, op doing the operating. Uh, don't really know if all this equipment is applicable to what goes on in an OR, uh, but uh, that's just kind of what I ended up with. So uh, that wraps it up for the fourth floor. This next floor is mother baby. So this is where we have the little babies in the little incubators uh, waiting to go home with their mommies. Uh, only was able to fit three incubators in this particular hospital, but it worked out pretty good. I went with the, um, I don't know if this, is, if this happens in hospitals anymore, but they have a little window so you can come and visit your babies uh, without actually uh, getting your germs on them. So put those windows up there. And it uh, looks like I do have a pediatrician coming in to check on those babies. Uh, very nice uh, looking uh, furniture uh, for this floor. I want to make sure this is a really nice looking floor because uh, postpartum is where my wife works as a nurse. So this is important to get right. Uh, adjacent to the elevator is the bathroom. So there you go, there's the other bathroom guys, pretty nice. Two bathrooms in one building, who would have thought, right? 
And these four um, rooms are all, they're all identical. Uh, so you've seen one, you've seen them all, but uh, very basic, uh, basic accommodations in here with, uh, with the bed and some furniture and a light. It's really all you get. You're not gonna stay here because it's a hotel, hopefully just a few days uh, or two, and you are out of there. Again, nice six stud wide uh, hallway. Using the dark gray stone in this hospital. Uh, if you're asking me why, because I had it. I didn't really have any other tile um, that I could actually tile the entire hospital floor. Uh, so this last room, uh, really quick, is I guess just a double room. So I don't know why you would need to, but I just kind of that's just kind of how it ended up because I needed a larger room. So uh, there you go. I guess that would be a place for maybe where the dad would want to stay if he wants to stay overnight with uh, with the mom. So uh, so that is mother baby. And now the main floor. I think it might be best if I rip out the uh, the front here to show you everything. But before I do, I um, just want to make mention of the importance of having support beams. And this being as large and heavy as it is, you want to make sure that you have some sort of supports inside in the middle to make sure all that weight is supported so that it doesn't come crashing down on you. The main floor is large. It's basically two floors. Uh, to make sure there's enough, I don't know, I like, I like having a very grand entrance. So right here we have the two main doors. Uh, we have the emergency doors right here for ambulance drop-offs and of course an emergency uh, uh, door back here, which uh, if I'm honest actually exits towards the um, train track, but wasn't really thinking that through, but eh, what you gonna do? Um, on the left here is the gift shop, and what gift shop wouldn't be complete without LEGO sets available to purchase, along with other toys. In the middle is the pharmacy. Now, the pharmacy has two windows. This is actually the pharmacy window, and uh, this is more of an information desk. Just kind of compounded those uh, together there. You kind of peek the camera over the, the wall there so you can see all those wonderful drugs available for people to pick up uh, with their prescriptions. And finally, of course, is the uh, cafeteria on the right here. I I'm really happy with how the, the cafeteria turned out. Um, I wasn't really sure it was going to look good, but it turned out okay. Uh, back here is the the beverage section. Pick up a beverage from the cooler or a cup of coffee and uh, pick yourself up a plate and grab whatever you want and make the purchase here at the end of the line. Grab a seat and enjoy. Well, that's going to take care of the interior review. Uh, just for fun, I have all of the uh, layers uh, next to each other here and you kind of get an idea of the magnitude of this project. Now there's definitely uh, bigger mocks out there, but uh, for, for my uh, standards, this was a very large project. Um, a lot of work went into this, a lot of detail. I don't know how many pieces, uh, quite a bit, I can, I can tell you that. So let me know what you guys think of the overall build, uh, what I missed, uh, what uh, you like, what you don't like. Um, but of course there is one person whose opinion uh, does matter to me with this, and we're gonna hear from her right now. Hi, I am super excited about the hospital upgrade. I've definitely helped Alex as far as consulting about things that are important in the hospital. Um, we have definitely improved the services, high-end amenities, nice things. We took the cafeteria up a notch or two, and we made sure that the staff are happy and ready to serve and meet people's needs. Super excited and hope that we can get some good HCAP scores on the highly satisfied end and that this hospital will do a great job serving the health care needs of the community. The hospital has been placed and this is the spot that I have elected to place it across the street from Avengers Tower. It does take the place of the Schmue Tower, which is formerly here. I think this is a better spot for the hospital. I kind of like this side of it being exposed uh, for when you come down and take a look at the city from uh, the uh, the bottom of the stairs in my basement. Uh, so it is across the street from the uh, the bus stop, which I think is a good uh, place for it because it is a, you know, it sees a lot of traffic through here. Uh, and uh, a nice, uh, a big enough space there between the hospital and the gas station to have these uh, ambulances on standby. So uh, that is where it is. Uh, just kind of uh, let you know right next to it is a construction site. Uh, hopefully a new mock right there that can maybe rival, maybe even beat out the Avengers Tower as the tallest building. All right, that's going to wrap it up for this review. 
of the new Minneapolis City Hospital. Hope you guys enjoyed that and all the details that I was able to share. It was a fun project. Uh, it was. It just needed to be done, I think, and I think the end result uh, speaks for itself. So let me know what you guys think overall of the new hospital, and uh, we'll see you guys again in the very near future. Until then, we'll see you. Bye-bye.